I never used to believe in omens or signs until those three nights that changed everything. It began innocuously enough with a subtle disturbance in my otherwise mundane routine. It was a warm summer evening when it started. I lay in bed, drifting on the edge of sleep, my phone resting beside me like a faithful companion. The room was dimly lit by the glow of streetlights filtering through the curtains. Suddenly, a gentle buzz interrupted the silence. I glanced at my phone, bleary-eyed, and saw a message notification. Dismissing it as inconsequential, I rolled over and tried to return to sleep. Yet, as I closed my eyes, a single red slash briefly marred the screen before vanishing into darkness. I blinked, attributing it to tiredness playing tricks on my eyes. Brushing off the unease creeping into my thoughts, I eventually succumbed to sleep's embrace. The following night unfolded with a different unsettling occurrence. A faint, rhythmic knocking echoed through the room, like fingertips tapping on glass. Startled awake, I searched for the source, initially fixating on the window above me. However, the sound seemed to emanate from the direction of the mirror mounted on the opposite wall. Heart racing, I approached the mirror cautiously, half expecting to find something inexplicable staring back. To my relief, or perhaps disappointment, there was nothing out of the ordinary. I laughed nervously, chiding myself for letting my imagination run wild. Yet, despite my attempts to rationalize, sleep eluded me that night. The third night shattered any semblance of normalcy. Abruptly awakened by a deafening crash, I bolted upright. The mirror had inexplicably tipped over and shattered into a thousand glittering shards upon the floor. Instinctively, I leapt out of bed, bare feet meeting a cruel surprise, a shard of glass slicing through my skin. Cursing under my breath, I gathered the pieces of the mirror and disposed of them, trying to ignore the unnerving sensation that someone, or something, had been watching. As I cleared away the last fragment, a chill ran down my spine, and for an instant, I could have sworn I glimpsed a pallid face staring back at me from one of the shards. Shaken, but determined to regain control over my nerves, I returned to bed, hoping for respite from the inexplicable events. Yet, my phone buzzed once more, shattering the fragile illusion of normalcy I desperately clung to. Irritated and sleep-deprived, I reached for the phone, intending to silence it once and for all. But when I tried to turn it on, the screen remained stubbornly dark. Frustration mounting, I tapped the screen repeatedly, pressed the buttons, all in vain. Just as I was about to resign myself to the night's restlessness, three crimson slashes materialized across the screen, stark against the lifeless black. Before I could comprehend the horror unfolding before my eyes, a spectral hand emerged from the depths of the screen, a clawed, pallid hand that reached out with unearthly grace. Frozen in terror, I could only watch in disbelief as it swept across my throat in a chilling caress. Gasping for air, I awoke with a start, drenched in a cold sweat, heart pounding in my chest. The room was silent, save for the rhythmic buzz of my phone. Trembling, I picked it up, hands trembling as I unlocked the screen. There were no messages, no missed calls, just the faint glow of the screen illuminating my trembling fingers. As realization dawned, chills ran through me. I've been marked.